Ranger, I'm the, I'm the principal of John Henry Newman Academy. Uh, the school's in Littermore, which is an area in Oxford. It's a, you know, one of the most socially deprived areas in the city. Um, in terms of our pupil population, we've got about 40% of our children have free school meals or a pupil premium children. Approximately the same number of pupils are on the SEN register, which means that they, we get additional funding for those pupils. We've also got about 30% of our pupils who are EAR, so they have English as an additional language. So we've got a lot of our children who are affected by various issues at home. Some of our children are affected by um, domestic violence. We did a sort of audit of the number of pupils who were affected by domestic violence and we think that we've got about 60% of our children um, are affected by domestic violence in one way or other. We're always trying to get them to talk about their feelings and make sure they have that time. And I think what's so good about this programme is that it, it gives them that protected time you know, to ensure that reflection and talk about things they might find difficult. People are a little bit scared of feelings. You know, if a child might get emotional, it's like, well, you need to be careful around that subject. But what's good about this is that it's already in the programme, so it might bring things up that you may not have been aware about before. My favourite thing about the programme is that it helps you to be safe, helps you to not to get good feelings when you're upset. What Dot's told me is if you're having an issue, don't keep it in and then get more frustrated. Tell someone, let someone help you. Just don't keep it in. It, it makes you feel like you, you can talk to anyone about your problems. One of the reasons why I was very keen to introduce the programme when we actually um, were told about the programme because as principal, I wanted to make sure that all of my pupils have access to a named adult who they can go and confide in and talk to, and somebody who's going to listen to their concerns, take on board their concerns as being really, really serious. Do you ever write how you're feeling in your, in your journal? Yeah. Has anybody ever asked? No. Never. No. If you want this to be your private book, then let it be your private You don't have to show it, no. Do you like that it. it's private? Yeah. The programme involves characters who they can relate to, um, who they can see themselves in, who they can go to for advice or think about, you know, um, what that character might do or say in the same situation. So it gives them a an outlet. And who's your favourite character? Um, I think Bong Bongani because um, I think he goes to show even though you have a disability you can still be the person you want to be. Um, mine is Floyd because he has courage when people bully him. Dot because she gives lots of advice and there's lots of stories about um, her and how she feels at different times and different situations. Wow. Be a scientist. Be a scientist. Ooh. You have to work very hard to be a scientist, don't you? But when I was younger, I said I wanted to be a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> I want to be a teacher because then you can keep, can you, you can um, help children to learn. That's very nice. Um, I want to be a police lady because you get really get to get out and about and help people and find out more about people. As a school, we're not just responsible for our children's academic achievement, we're also responsible for their personal development and their spiritual development and their moral development and, and their character development as well. And so introducing the programme has allowed us to build you know, relationships between our pupils, relationships between our pupils and adults. I probably liked it when we had to look at um, what we're good at. I came up with a list of about 30 or 40 things. Oh, <laughs> Especially talk. How you're special, like, to learn how you're special, because it's really nice to know what you're good at. And why are you special? Do you think you're special? Yeah. And why, what makes you special? Because I think I'm showing all the values. You are. Exactly. I feel special because I'm a helpful person and 
whenever someone's sad, I'm always there. I think I'm special because I have something that nobody else has.